our writers start with words on a page, our actors put them on screen, and then these are the people who shape all of this world into an amazing, amazing product. They are the final writers of the series. Let me start by introducing you to our post producer, Gwen Martin Morris. Hey, Gwen. Hey. Our lead editor this season, Daisha Broadway, back with us as well. Hello, hello, hello. And then we have our newbie of the season, Stephanie Filo. Yay! <laughs> hey, everyone. <laughs> now, I'm just really proud of this team, the stuff that they've done on season two. So far, I'm just so excited for the world to see because it really just takes everything we've done for months and months and months and months and heightens it to that cinematic, magical reality that we're so, so, so accustomed to with this show. Enough of me talking. I want you guys to tell the world what is each of your roles on the show. I am in charge of the post-production department and just making sure that all the tiny little pieces that y'all film on set get to the airwaves. So whether that's the effects, the footage, that all has to be put into a puzzle by the editors and making sure everyone creatively understands what your vision is and then move to the airways the same way all of us intended it to be. I'm an editor on the show, as Robin mentioned. Um, so basically that means I just take the footage that has been shot the day before usually and put it together into hopefully something that makes people laugh. This season, I am the supervising editor. I've sort of taken this role on as just the person who just tries to make sure that the cuts fit the tone of the show and fit the style of the show as much as possible so that it all feels sort of connected with uh, last season. Yes, this, 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 this. I think we are such a great example of what the industry can be, which is absolutely inclusive, diverse, and stellar in your talents. What do you think we can do to help more shows understand the need for diversity and inclusion and equity and um, all of that in, in the post world? Knowing that it's an issue and knowing that I have the power to like help solve the problem. And if that means hiring someone who has less experience because they haven't been given a chance, but they have the energy and the motivation to learn quickly, then that's what I do. I spend my time to make sure that they have the resources to become as talented as they're capable of being. I think that productions also need to kind of understand the importance in telling stories authentically. Having a number of diverse voices behind the scenes, in front of the camera, you know, you're getting all of these different lenses that you wouldn't get otherwise if you only have like a white male post team. You just simply wouldn't be getting that perspective. Right, and why it's so necessary. I mean, it would just not make any sense to have an all white male post team on a Black Lady Sketch Show. This show would be absolutely different if we did not have the post team that we have. Don't you think, Deja? Especially if you're going to write Black stories with Black people and you don't have anyone in your post team that reflects that, it's gonna be lacking. And I think, you know, we've all watched a show on TV and been like, I know who wasn't in that post department. And what channels is gonna be on? YouTube? I only have Netflix, but I only watch Wheel of Fortune. Is this gonna be on Wheel of Fortune? Thank you so much for watching. I'm so honored and proud that you got to meet these amazing women of the post team on a Black Lady Sketch Show. And make sure you check out season two. I caught the wave, I caught the wave. I caught the sharks and they swimming with the fishes.